Introduction of Coplanar Concurrent Forces Now if we look at to the system so this system is one of the simplest system of forces a force system in a plane in which the line of action of all the forces that intersect at a single point is generally called a coplanar concurrent force system if we take a one body now number of forces are acting along a single point of that body so we consider uh, different type of forces so these forces are acting in a single plane as well as they are propagating from the single point so this system is called a coplanar concurrent force system now it is becomes very easy to understand the effect of such a force system if we replace this force system with a only single force system and that force that generally called a resultant force that will have exactly the same effect as all the forces combined together if we take a same body and on that body a single force that is acting that we called a resultant r so whatever the effect generated by force f1 f2 f3 and f4 that is equally generated by a single force r so that r is a resultant of all these forces now we can also write down that resultant r is equal to summation of all the forces if we denote it by a vector to provide the direction of that particular force so we can put this type of direction so f1 and f2 f1 and f2 so f1 in this direction f2 that is in this particular direction f3 will take in this direction and f4 will take in this direction so after summation of all the forces with its magnitude and the direction we got the r in this particular direction now now such system produces only a translational motion of the object now process which really find out the resultant that involves techniques of composition or the resolution of forces so composition or the resolution so it is generally known as the combination or combine the forces and to distribute or the resolution of the forces so these two term that we'll see in next lecture of this series in very much detail now this series of lectures includes understanding of the concept of resultant and finding its value with the help of various methods and those methods are number 1 
is a law of parallelogram of forces number 2 is law of polygon of forces or we can also find out by using a resolution the component of forces or a force system also it deals with the concept of uh, equilibrium so equilibrium is that type of term when a bodies are subjected to a forces that really balance the each other so that condition we generally known as equilibrium conditions after that we will see the procedure to draw a free body diagram and uh, problems related to that and for that we are using a theorem that is a lamis theorem so in this series we understand this much terms in very much detail so from the simplest system or the given force system how to find out the resultant with different methodology and uh, what is the equilibrium condition and uh, from the free body diagram how to solve the problems related to the equilibrium using the lamis theorem so this is all about the introduction of coplanar concurrent force system